Welcome back guys. So here's how to calibrate your voltage uh, in beta flight or clean flight to be able to get an accurate voltage reading in your on-screen display or telemetry. This is an extremely easy, simple, and fast thing to do. It is the exact opposite of cal calibrating your current or amperage. I do have a video showing you how to do that. I'll leave that link for you in the top right of your screen now or uh, in the description below. Now I'm not going to show you how to wire your flight controller, not in this video, because there's so many different flight controllers and ways to do it. Uh, if you are unsure of how to go about that and get voltage working in beta flight or clean flight, then just look through my uh, flight controller playlist and you'll probably find a video for your flight controller. With this Omnibus wired up, uh, any flight controller that has a built-in voltage regulator, uh, it's very simple. The same two wires that powers the flight controller also automatically places voltage in the telemetry because it's receiving the full voltage of the battery. This will be the Omnibus, the Seriously Dodo, Seriously Pro Racing Mini, and others like that. If your flight controller does not have that, uh, then they usually add in VBAT pins, and you will have to add in some additional wires. So now I'm just going to plug in my LiPo battery, Let's get a USB cable in it, and now we will go into beta flight, or clean flight, either one. We will see up here our voltage is 15.8 volts. You can click on configuration and scroll down. And uh, these three right here, minimum, max, and warning, these don't have anything to do with the calibration. The only one we will be dealing with is voltage scale. If you're wondering where I leave these, I just leave them on the default 3.3 and 4.3 and uh, the warning cell at 3.5. Uh, I think these are, defaults are great and I just leave them there. So now uh, we need to verify the voltage. You can use one of these little meters like this. These are very cheap. Uh, you can get them for like three or four bucks. And just plug it in to the uh, to lead on your LiPo, but I don't recommend doing this because there's only one decimal place. And uh, as we saw, the voltage was showing 15.7 volts, which is good enough. I mean, you can only get so accurate, uh, so these things do work, but what I will do instead is if you have a multimeter, I would recommend using that. Just get those additional decimal places. Uh, that way we can do some rounding. So the little meter showed 15.7, but let's see exactly what it is and it's 15.74 which means the meter was accurate because it's going to round down to 15.7 if it were 15.5 or then it would round up to 15.8 which is what beta flight is doing right now so we know that it is uh, slightly off and I will say some flight controllers are better than others so this one is looking pretty good uh, but we can adjust it a little bit so voltage scale I'm just going to click this one time because it is pretty sensitive and see what happens alright now we are showing 15.7 now we don't know where the second decimal place is but what we do know is it thinks it's somewhere between 15.7 and 15.74 which means we are in business and that's it it's that simple so like I said uh, check out the uh, next video where I show you how to do the current and that oh boy you're gonna have some fun that's all I gotta say <laughs> so thanks for watching I will see you guys again soon